This is item number 38 on the spring 2014 test release for Tennessee and, of course, Algebra 1. The question says the water level in a storage tank must reach 40 feet before the tank is drained. After the drainage valve of the tank is open, the water level is measured at the end of each minute. A portion of the data is shown in the table. Which function best represents these data in the table? Now, the first thing that we need to do is figure out how much change is going on. That's the key issue. Because when we write a function rule, which is what this is, we're looking for some component of change, which is what we'll put with the uh, variable, and then we'll probably have a constant component, which is to say that happens anyway. Um, most of the time, the constant is what happens at the zero level, but let's look at change first. So it's going down by 2, so minus 2. By the way, when you do your development of you know what's the change, you need to take the number that's further in. So use the 2-minute time and subtract 38, so 36 minus 38, because then it'll show you going forward what you had to do to get there, minus 2 minus two. These are going up by one so I don't need to worry about those. If they're not, they're going up by other numbers. You need to divide this by this to find the rate of change, but not an issue here. So this is my change component, negative two, because it's all the same. If this is, this is called the first difference, if this is the same, you have a linear relationship, which is to say it probably has an x or an n, or it doesn't have x squared. If it's the second difference it is, but in this case uh, it's probably just an x. So anything with an x m squared we can get rid of. So all we need to do now is just look at, okay, what's the constant part? So I'm saying negative 2m is the change part. The constant part is what happens before anything begins to happen. It's really easy to jump on the idea that 38 is the number that goes here. But 38 is what happens after a minute. We need to know what happened before a minute. And in a linear relationship, it's really easy to figure out. It's also easy to figure out because they tell you. But um, in a linear relationship, it's easy to figure out because I can take the relationship that's already there and just kind of go the opposite direction with it, sort of rock it backwards a little bit. I need to know what happens with zero elapsed minutes. So if I'm going down by two every time, if I do the opposite of minus, so add, really, 38, I add two to it, 38 plus two is 40. That's my starting point. That's my home base. That's before anything else occurred. So, and now that it looks like some sort of weird badly drawn race car, I'll just put it over here so you can actually see it. It's not written in the water drainage. So at zero, there's 40 uh, feet. And they told you that it had to reach it before they drained it. Otherwise, this never would have happened. So our starting point is plus 40. So f of m is based on that relationship. A starting at 40, and then for every minute, I'm going to subtract 2. So that's it. This is subtraction, subtraction, subtraction. So a lot of subtraction is a row is basically just multiplying with a negative number. And that's this one. Doesn't matter that the 2m is in the back. As long as the signs stay the same, see it's still plus 40, still positive 40, and 2m is still minus, so it's irrelevant that it's in that order. That kind of stuff is, um, at least in this case, as long as the signs stay the same, it's almost an addition relationship like right here and that's commutative so you can sort of move it around just keep the signs with it and that's it